Hello students, under the topic non-exact differential equation, now we are going to solve problem 3. Solve cos x cos y dx minus 2 sin x sin y dy. Now this equation is of the form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, where m is equal to cos x cos y and n is equal to minus 2 sin x sin y. So first and foremost we have to check the exactness of this equation for which we have to find dou m by dou y which is equal to. Now we have to differentiate this with respect to y. So cos x will remain as constant and the differentiation of cos y is minus sin y and so we get minus cos x sin y and dou n by dou x will be equal to now differentiating this with respect to x that is partially with respect to x y will be treated as constant so sin y will become a constant and the differentiation of sin x is cos x and so we get minus 2 cos x sin y we observe that dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x so if we consider this as equation 1 this implies that equation 1 is not an exact equation so this is not an exact equation so if this is not an exact equation then we have to solve this equation by finding the integrating factor now let us find the integrating factor for this we have learned the rules for finding an integrating factor in our previous video so we will be using the second rule to find the integrating factor. So if q is equal to 1 by m dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y is a function of y alone, then the integrating factor will be given by u equal to e power integral q dy because uh, the, this will be a q will be a function of y alone. So it will be q dy and this will be the integrating factor. So now let us use this and find the integrating factor for the given equation. So q will be equal to this. Now let us substitute. So what is m actually? m is cos x cos y. So 1 by cos x cos y multiplied with now what is dou n by dou x? dou n by dou x is minus 2 cos x sin y. So let us substitute that. So minus 2 cos x sin y and then minus dou m by dou y. So dou m by dou y is minus cos x sin y. So minus into minus will become plus and this will turn out to be cos x sin y. Now let us simplify this. So this will be equal to 1 by cos x cos y multiplied with now minus 2 cos x sin y plus cos x sin y. So minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1. So this will turn out to be minus cos x sin y. And so we have to check whether we are able to cancel any terms. Yes, we are able to cancel cos x and cos x. And so we get this to be minus sin y by cos y, which will be equal to minus tan y. And so the value of q will be equal to minus tan y. Now using this q, we have to find the integrating factor. So the integrating factor is given by u is equal to e power integral q dy. So using this we get this to be equal to e power integral what is q minus tan y dy. So this can be written as e power this minus we will take out of the integral and so we will have integral tan y dy. By the integration formula, integral of tan y dy is log of secant y. And so this will be equal to e raised to the power of minus. Now integral of tan y dy is log of secant y. And now this can be further written as e power log of this minus 1 which is before the log. It can be taken to the power over here. So this will become log of secant y raised to the power of minus 1. And this secant y raised to the power of minus 1 is 
1 by secant y and 1 by secant y is cos y and so this will be equal to e power log of cos y and we know that e power log of cos y that is e power log of a will be equal to a only and so e power log of cos y will be cos y and so therefore our integrating factor u is equal to cos y after finding the integrating factor we have to multiply this equation 1 by the integrating factor so this equation 1 has to be throughout multiplied by cos y and so what will happen here we will have cos x cos squared y dx minus 2 sin x cos y sin y dy equal to 0 so let us do that now so multiplying equation 1 by the integrating factor u of x comma y we get uh, equation 1 turns out to be cos x cos squared y and then dx minus 2 sin x and then we have sin y multiplied with cos y dy is equal to 0 now this can be further written as now this will be cos x cos squared y dx minus this 2 sin y cos y can be written as sin 2y by the trigonometric formula. So this will be minus sin x. So 2 sin y cos y will become uh, sin 2x. So sin 2x dy is equal to 0. Actually this is sin 2y. Okay because it is 2 sin y cos y. So by the trigonometric formula we know that sin 2y is equal to 2 sin y cos y. And so this can be written as sin 2y dy equal to 0 now this will be our m and this will be our n so using this first we have to check the exactness of this equation and then if it is exact then we have to solve it and so now we have capital m to be cos x cos squared y and so do m by do y will be equal to this this alone we have to differentiate so it will be 2 cos y so we will write the 2 here this cos x we will write here and then 2 cos y and then the differentiation of cos y will be minus sin y. So this is dou m by dou y and this can be further simplified. So dou m by dou y will be equal to this 2 uh, sin y cos y can be written as sin 2y and so we get minus cos x sin 2y. Now further we will differentiate n. So if we differentiate dou n by dou x will be equal to. So when we differentiate this with respect to x sin 2y will be constant. And so minus differentiation of sin x is cos x and then sin 2y. We observe that dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Because these two are equal it's minus cos x sin 2y so if these two are equal then it implies that the equation 2 that we have obtained is exact that is after multiplying with the integrating factor the equation 1 has turned out to be an exact equation then if this equation is exact then they we know that there exists a function capital f such that it satisfies do f by do x will be equal to m and do f by do y will be equal to n. Now do f by do m is equal to do f by do x is equal to m. So from that uh, we can write do f by do x to be equal to what is m we have here that is m is cos x cos squared y. So we will substitute that here. So it will be cos x cos squared y and from this do f will be equal to cos x cos squared y do x now integrating on both the sides integral do f will turn out to be f and this one partially we have to differentiate with respect to x which means that cos squared y is a constant so integration of cos x is negative sin x so minus sin x 
plus one integral constant we will have constant of integration with respect to uh, let us because we are di differentiating with respect to x the integral constant will be with respect to y which is f of y now uh, we have to find this constant of integration f of y for that we will be using dou f by dou y is equal to n so now we will first differentiate this dou f by dou y is what now we have to differentiate this so this will be treated as constant differentiation of cos squared y is this minus will come as such and this will be 2 cos y and the differentiation of cos y is minus sin y so this will become plus so sin y and then um, uh, sin x we have to write and the differentiation of this will be f dash of y now what is dou f by dou y it is given as it is equal to n so we will equate it to n what is n actually n is minus sin x sin 2y so we shall equate it so this is minus sin x and then sin 2y which is equal to now this also can be written as um, here we have 2 and here we have cos y sin y so 2 sin y cos y is sin 2y so this can be written as sin 2y sin x plus f dash of y and another thing what I have done is here we have inter integral we have done cos x so integration of cos x is plus sin x actually by mistake I have done written minus here so this term will be actually plus so because of that uh, now again when we differentiate this dou f by dou y it will be 2 cos y and the differentiation of cos y is minus sin y and so we will have a negative sign here kindly make that correction uh, the integration of uh, this term that is cos x is uh, sin x then after that when we differentiate with respect to y the differentiation of cos y will be negative sin y and so that negative sign will come so we will have a negative sign here and these two will get cancelled and f dash of y will be equal to 0 this implies that f of y is equal to a constant c so we have to substitute f of y equal to a constant c over here and we get the solution as capital F to be equal to cos squared y sin x plus c and hence writing it uh, in the form the solution will be sin x cos squared y is equal to c so this is the solution of the given non-exact differential equation hope you have understood how to solve a non-exact differential equation thank you